Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's video is going to be based off of a four gallon per minute machine. We're going to be building a buffer tank. We're going to be testing out this buffer tank. We're going to be talking about this external unloader valve here. As you've seen my previous video, I had another video on this exact valve. Today we're going to shine some light on the whole subject of external unloader valves and hopefully give you a better understanding about it. I have links to this tank here in the description. And you can have this one shipped right to your house. We're going to dig right into it. But before we do, I have to explain a few things to you guys so you get the basic knowledge and understanding of why we're even doing this. If you watched my previous videos, you've seen me use this valve here. And what it does is allow you to have the option to dump water back into a tank to keep your pump cool. So remember, every time you're pressure washing, you let off the trigger. Even for five minutes, setting the gun down on the ground while you go do something else. Let's say you're running back to the truck, you're talking to a customer, you got a phone call. Anyways, the pump's running the whole time and that water is circulating and getting hot and hotter and hotter until it's too late. You've done some serious damage to the seals in the pump and your pump will not last long after that. So what that valve does is it keeps your pump cool at all times. So when you let off the trigger, water is constantly circulating going back into a buffer tank. So everything here on this table is linked in the description. They're all Amazon links. You can have this tank delivered right to your house. You can have all this stuff. I do get a very small commission on it. If you order through my links, I do appreciate it. All right, we're going to dig right into this video. All right, as far as building the tank here, now here's what we're going to need. Set this over here. There's your float valve. Okay, this is the fittings for your unloader valve. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take some Teflon tape, okay, and make sure you wrap up all of your threads. So if you don't know how to wrap up thread, you wrap it going with the thread. You always want to go with the thread. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put on the shutoff valve, okay. This shutoff valve allows us to be able to shut the water off, go into our pressure washer, so if we got to take it off real quick you can wash your hands you can use this you know this tank to wash your hands off wash your equipment off whatever all right so you got that on there pretty tight now we can shut the water on and off so there's our shut off valve next thing you're going to need is an adapter what this adapter is going to do is allow for our garden hose to hook up to this so screw one end in so this right here is where you would plug your pressure washer into. So you're definitely, you're going to need a three foot piece of hose. I'd say about three foot, maybe five foot, depending on how far away your pressure washer is. For an example, let's say that this hose right here is going right to my pressure washer. So I can either just screw this in just like that. You know, that would work and you're ready to go. Or we can turn this into quick connects, which I like to do with all my stuff, turn everything into quick connects. So let's go ahead and do that. So to turn it into quick connects, you can buy this kit here, which I really like. It comes with a whole bunch of them. It's not very expensive at all. And you can turn a lot of garden hose things into quick connects. So here's one here. For your buffer tank, you're going to take the female. One end screws in, and the other end's a quick connect. Pretty simple. So you're just going to take that, and if I can... Figure this out. There we go. There you go. Screw that on there. Now you just turn this into a quick connect. Okay. And that's going to your pressure washer. So now, if this right here was going to my pressure washer, this hose, I would simply screw the other end of this in. And now I have a quick connect. Okay. Pretty simple, right? So that's why I like doing quick connects. Alrighty, so we got that. Next thing we're going to do, this is very simple to build, guys. There's not much to a buffer tank. Next thing you're going to need is your float valve. Now, this float valve here, this is just a water float valve, just like I said. We actually use these when we used to live on the farm, and we use these for our animals. They worked really great, so that's why I choose to use them with my pressure washing business, because I know that these work, and they work for a long time. So, here in my tank, I already have a hole drilled here. This tank I used previously. Anyways, I used it for something different. Now I need to make this hole bigger. Okay. This, you're going to use a one inch drill. So here's my drill. So you want to get you a one inch bit. Okay. 
goes in pretty easy. Clean up any spurs that are there. You can take a little file, take a razor blade, just clean that up a little bit. Take an old razor blade. Now, on the float valve, you can see the arrows, okay? The direction flow. So that's the direction that you want to have this inside of your, your tank. So the direction of the arrow is going to be in the tank, going into the tank. If we go inside of this tank here, we go on in here, tank. The bottom there, that's our bulkhead fitting. And the top there, that's going to be our float valve. All right, I actually got my hand inside of here. This is the hard part. I'm trying to get this in here. But it's doable. You just got to keep turning and pushing, turning and pushing. Remember, again, we're going to use these quick connects, which make life a lot easier. So here's your quick connects again. Okay, same thing. They got your male, your female, which is going to plug right here. That's it. You do want to make sure that this float valve stays uh, facing down inside the tank. So there's your quick connect on there. And the other end of the quick connect is going to go into your hose reel. So your whip line coming from your hose reel, that's where that's going to plug into that'll turn it into a quick connect and as your tank fills when it gets up to that level where that float valve is it will shut off the next step we are going to take this unloader valve here stand it straight up in the air okay that's how you're looking at it straight up in the air and you see that arrow there that says in the other side says out okay so the end part is going to go to your pressure washer all right, so most pressure washers, four gallon per minute, you're going to have a fitting like this on the end of your pressure washer, you know, where your hose plugs in, you're going to have a female. So we're going to want to put a male on this end. Okay, make sure you wrap up with Teflon tape. We're going to put a male on this end. And then we're going to take our female and put it on this end. Okay. Give me a second here. Okay. We're going to tighten those up real good. And then you see this Allen head here? You can take this Allen head out. There's one on the other side too. There's two Allen heads. You can, either side, you pick what side you want. So I already took out the Allen head out of this side. So now I've got an empty hole there. And you're going to take another male. Okay. Another male quick connect fitting. And screw it in there and that's all there is to setting this up it's pretty simple now this is going to plug right into your machine okay this plugs in your machine your hose plugs into here so this is just in the middle here and then this valve here is going to dump the water. So this is where that extra water, when you let off the trigger, this will blow water back into your tank. And your pump will continually circle cold water, always. So that's how this is going to work. So for this end, we're going to get a garden hose, a little piece. It can be a little, you know, five, six foot piece of garden hose, just a scrap piece of hose. We're going to put quick connects on it. And we're going to quick connect it, run it back into your tank. So, and every time you let off the trigger, it'll blow water, you know, back to the buffer tank. Like it's always going to be having water going through your pump. All right, I'm getting ready to test this out. And here we go. You want to turn the water on? All right, here we go. You can see my buffer tank filling up with water right now. So nothing strapped down. This is just for demonstration purposes, but you would put some straps, ratchet straps, and wrap it around those bars and everything the way I had it. So we're filling the tank up so far, no leaks. I got my gun and the hose for the bypass valve. You know, this hose goes in the top of the tank there. I got everything right here just for testing it out. So when I pull on the trigger, 
you know, no water should come out of here. Maybe a little bit. It drips a little bit. And then when I let off the trigger, um, water should come out here full blast. And that keeps your pump cool. Let me turn this valve. Yeah, turn that valve a little bit so you can see. It's trying to settle. So that's full. So there's what you got. Just about 30 gallons in there. Like I said, that is plenty of water for a four gallon per minute. And if I didn't mention before, it has to be gravity fed for this machine to work on it. You know, it won't suck the water if the tank's flush with the machine. You have to lift that tank up a little bit. Maybe not that high, but definitely got to lift it up. 